And a barbecue in the mountains means new roofs to go over the heads of orphans in Honduras. Carpenter's Heart is planning a trip to build orphanages later this month. But this morning, the charity's president, Doug Garrison, and team member Adam Geis are here to show us how lives will change when pigs fly this weekend. Yeah. All right, let me explain, gentlemen. <laughs> that pigs fly, when pigs fly is the name of the barbecue fundraiser you're doing. But let's talk about why you're doing this and what the purpose is. Um, well, we are, uh, the Carpenter's Heart is a nonprofit organization and uh, we uh, became an organization to, to show the love of Christ by meeting people at their need. And uh, we've taken a couple trips down to Honduras and um, have seen there's a great need down there for orphans because orphans are, is a, uh, it's a very uh, high percentage of orphans mm. down in Honduras and they are considered uh, the lowest part of society. Um, so if there's no one to take care of that orphan, uh, the kid just runs around the streets and has to kind of fend for herself. Wow, that is disturbing. We're seeing some pictures from previous trips. Are those some of the kids you're helping? Yes, those are some of the kids that yeah. help us, and these are some of the pictures of us uh, on a previous trip building the church. And um, uh, they are very genuine people, very loving, very caring, and uh, they see uh, why we're coming down to help out, and they're very appreciative. Um, so how will the When Pigs Fly barbecue help change the lives of the people we're seeing in these pictures right here? Well, it will go toward the, the building itself, the grading, the septic, and hopefully power and lights uh, toward, uh, toward the or orphanage, as well as the foundation. So uh, any money that's raised will go directly toward uh, that orphanage project there in Honduras. And let's talk about what exactly is going to happen. You're doing this from the ground up. This is just a fresh start build, right? Yes, uh, I took a, a trip in April. Um, and like I said, we have no big organizations backing us. It's just me and a group of friends got together, made a nonprofit organization, and uh, we have these fundraisers, barbecues or whatever, to raise money throughout the year. And uh, we went in April and purchased the land uh, with $3,000. And as of now, the land is purchased, and we have enough money to do the grading and the power and uh, the septic tank while we're down there on this trip. How many trips will it take to finish this entire day? Um it's hard to tell. It'll probably take at least five or six trips because we'll at least take a group of 15 to 20 people with us on each trip. And uh, Adam and his church at uh, uh, Trinity of Fairview have been real good to come on board and help us out. And uh, so that'll be a lot of support there. Okay. And it's not just barbecue. There's music and fun and all kinds of excitement going on. Let me tell folks how they can get in on When Pigs Fly Barbecue. It's November 13th at Newbridge Baptist Church. $5 per person. Kids 11 and younger get in free. They're also going to do takeout plates for you. I'm just letting you know. Grab and go is a possibility. WLOS.com. Click on more info. We're going to link you to their website. It also gives us an opportunity to understand how we can maybe volunteer for a trip and maybe help support the, the efforts even more so. Is that yes. right? There is an option for PayPal and it has pictures of our previous uh, trips and uh, information. This is an incredible opportunity. I want to thank you, Doug Garrison and Adam Geis with Carpenter's Heart, going down to make a difference in the lives of the forgotten kids. Wow. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. All right, Jay. Oh, fantastic.